This is Wella Sabugu in South Mali. After making breakfast for their families, these women have walked three miles here, carrying their babies on their backs and their tools in their hands. This woman is called Kadja. She provides for her family by producing charcoal. This widespread practice discourages the Malian government from planting new trees to tackle the advancing desert. Many villagers will suffer from chronic breathing problems due to this trade. The charcoal has now cooled down and is ready to be sold. <laughs> Kadja sells the majority of the charcoal she produces, but keeps a little for herself for cooking and making tea. Food prices in this area are expensive, so all Kadja can afford is millet. Meat is an extremely rare treat. There is no well at Kadja's home, so the family go to collect water from the neighbourhood well, which is a 15-minute walk. The entire rainfall in this area lasts for only three months of the year, often resulting in flooding. For the rest of the year, there is only drought, so water is scarce and has to be rationed carefully between the community. Water. This essential ingredient of life and basic human right is what Kadja and her community have come to discuss at the local Islamic Relief Village Office. The community discussed the drought and flooding problems with Islamic Relief. Not only are the problems defined by the community, but also the solutions. This ensures ownership of the project is also taken on by the community, which is essential for long-term success. The community have identified water harvesting as being the most beneficial solution to their problems. <laughs> This microdam project will allow the community to engage in farming activities which will enable them to produce enough food for their households as well as to sell to the market and generate incomes for themselves. It is estimated to benefit over 2,000 people. Now this land is barren. 
but when the rain falls here, the water will be collected and retained in the dam for an additional eight months, giving the community an adequate water supply and food security, completely transforming their landscape and their lives. Because I knew Brazil Bana, Kana, no go to Sambe do Nagon. Ramban for all lunch at one Gilabal Academy, you take anyone. With the completion of the micro dam approaching, when Kadja now looks on at neighboring gardens, she can have real hope that when the rains come, her farm can be nourished all season and her family and the wider community can also have a good harvest. If this project could be repeated in other areas, then more communities will no longer need to cut trees for an income. Maybe this will be enough to encourage the Malian government to begin to plant new trees again, pushing back an advancing desert. <laughs>